Weeks after the Washington Post opened our eyes to some awful conditions in outpatient buildings at Walter Reed Army Medical Center, President Bush visited the facility today and the wounded warriors there and offered an apology. Our report from NBC's John Yang. President Bush spent more than two hours meeting soldiers who'd lost limbs in Iraq and Afghanistan, talking with their families, and testing Lieutenant Scott Quilty's prosthetic arm with a presidential handshake. As he made his rounds, Mr. Bush awarded 11 Purple Hearts. He also toured the new home for the outpatients moved from the notorious Building 18, where rooms were moldy and rat infested. Conditions the president said disturbed him. It is, it is not right to have someone volunteer to wear a uniform and not get the best possible care. I uh, apologize for what they went through, and we're going to fix the problem. A problem that comes at an awkward time for Mr. Bush, just as he's sending more troops to Iraq where the violence shows no signs of ending. Two top generals and the Army secretary were fired, and three panels were appointed to review military health care. But skeptical veterans groups say the system is overwhelmed by more wounded than anticipated from a war that's lasting longer than anticipated. The good care providers that are there giving those great um, um, prosthetic limbs and that great burn care and the great bullet and bomb injury recovery are being burned out because the casualties don't stop coming. More than 6,200 troops from Iraq and Afghanistan have been treated at Walter Reed, nearly a quarter of all those wounded, and no one can predict how many more there'll be. John Yang, NBC News, the White House.